most of the time when we think of Kittle, we think of t-shirts and the templates that Kittle has. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about something different. There's a really popular genre on Amazon and Redbubble and other fine art print stores. And these are house rules or family rules prints. You've got these really high-end prints that have a lot of different text on them and borders on them and they're really complicated to make but in my Kittle tutorial here I'm going to show you how to do this. It's actually really simple. Let's jump in. If you've never heard of Kittle before then today's your lucky day. Kittle's got thousands of templates that you can use for print on demand or for your crafting needs and I'm going to put a link to this in the video description below just a heads up. It is an affiliate link and that just means if you click on the link and you buy something I would receive a small commission. I think Kittle's a super high-end resource and it's really easy to use for print on demand or for crafting. In this case though we're actually not going to be using the templates today. We're going to be creating a new project right from scratch. Okay so to get started I'm going to go up to the top right and I'm going to click new project. From here I can now set my artboard size. So I'm going to go up here to settings on the top right and I'm going to click here on the bottom where it says custom size. I'm going to do 1200. I'm going to change that to 1000 wide by 1200 tall. and I'm going to click confirm. That just gives me more of a portrait sized project to work on. Okay now what you can do to start if you're brand new to this is you can go over here to the left hand side and you can go to uploads. When you click on uploads I've picked a template. I've just picked a family rule sign off the internet. I just saved an image of it. So I just uploaded it and I'm going to click it and now I can make this bigger and I can, I'm not going to just copy this but I'm using this as an inspirational design element. I'm not going to use this as part of my final design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import some borders around the corners here. So I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to select elements and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to see on the, on the top there's ornaments. I'm going to click on ornaments and I can see there's bold flourishes, there's Victorian, there's all sorts of neat things. So I'm going to click Victorian show all and I'm going to click a corner piece that I can use. I love the fact they've got all of these elements sitting in here for use. So I'm going to click on this, move this up into the top right and I can also change the color of this if I want as well. I can simply go over to object color and I can make it whatever color I want. Now I'm going to click control C and control V. That's going to copy it. I'm going to move it on down to the bottom and then I'm going to rotate it as well. I'm going to make it exactly 180 degrees and I'm going to push it right over here. Again control C, control V. I'm going to move this up to the top. I'm actually going to right click it and click flip horizontal. So that's going to make it the exact opposite now of this one. So I'm going to move it right down here and then I'm going to do one more. You can see how the guidelines set up too which is really nice. So I'm going to make sure my guidelines are in line right there and then one more time control C control V and then for this one I'm going to make sure that I flip this horizontal. Okay now if you don't want to see the template at any point you can just click the layers panel and I can see that there's an illustration image right here and I can just make it go away. So you can just toggle the visibility on that. Okay let's get into the text now. I'm going to click on the text option and I'm going to just start off with the family rules at the top. So I'm going to click just something here kind of at random. I'm going to click this golden times. I'm going to click show all though. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different types of text that you can use. Oh that Paris one actually looks really good. I'm going to click that. I'm going to double click the Paris text and I'm going to type in the words family rules. So now if you don't want it to be on two lines then you just simply drag this out and it will make it onto one line. Then from here I can make this nice and big and there's some really cool settings over here on the right hand side. So for example under transformation I can go circle and I can make this now a circle really tight, really loose. I'm going to make it kind of like that. I'm also going to make this a bit bigger. I'm going to push this right there. So it's really instead of being technically adept you could just sort of monkey around and just you let your imagination run wild with this which I absolutely love. Now this text color I'm going to make this a bit more stark and then I'm going to make sure that this is centered just by simply clicking the center button there. So I want to put something underneath family rules here that's sort of a border element. Under elements I'm going to type in line. We can see here there's a couple modern lines that come up and I like this a lot. So I'm going to click for example this one make this a bit bigger, throw it up here and then again you can just change the object color really easily. I'm going to push this down to black. I'm going to make sure it's centered just by simply clicking the centered button. Now remember we had our template set up so all I need to do is go back down here to the bottom and I can simply click on the visibility and I can see now I've got like for example inspire, try new things, laugh a lot, learn a lot. So I'm going to do dream big and work hard. 
So I'm gonna, that's gonna be my text that I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna go here to text and I'm gonna click add headline. And that's just gonna give me a basic run of the mill text. It's not very exciting looking. So I'm gonna type in the word dream. Then I'm gonna click control C, control V. That's gonna give me another dream. Control C, control V, control C, control V. So that's gonna give me four pieces of text. So now I'm gonna click on dream and I'm gonna change it to big. And I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna say work. And then from here, simply just click on the dream and now I can change the text. And there's a whole bunch of different texts in here that I can use. And we can see it just pops up immediately. Simply make it bigger, move it like this. You're basically just playing around now with the text. And the really nice thing about Kittle is there's all these pre-installed fonts. And so you can make every piece of text look completely different. And that's really easy to do here, but it looks like it's taken a ton of time and energy, which is the key to having a high-end print. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go dream big. I'm gonna put it close to the center here, and I'm gonna do work hard, and then I'm gonna put in some arrows as well. So over here on the left, I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna type in arrows. So I'm gonna click on this one, just make it a bit small. I'm gonna put it right here on the side. Control C, Control V. That just copies and pastes it. I'm gonna right click, flip horizontal. And I'm going to put it right here. If you highlight both of them by using the shift key, you can also align them. So you can see right there, I just moved them so they're in perfect alignment with each other. And now using the guideline, they're centered vertically on the dream big. And if you want to center all three, you want to make sure you go dream big there by dragging this so you can see now it's going to pop up in the middle of the design. And right there it's centered. You can see the vertical line come up. So you can just highlight two items and then you can make it centered. If I'd like this to all be vertically centered with each other, I can highlight all four items, and then over on the top, I can do vertical centering middle, and that'll move it so that it's all kind of vertical. I actually want to move this big just down just a tiny bit, just personal preference. Now I'm going to throw my illustration back on my template here, and I'm going to see it says here, try new things, so I'm going to do that one as well. So I'm going to go over here to text. I've clicked on the text button, and I can see here there's vintage. I'm going to show all. I'm going to click on the Sanborn Coffee one, and I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. Now I'm going to click on the, and I'm going to make it try. Sanborn, I'm going to click on that and say new. And then for coffee, I'm going to click things. So that gives me now, very easily, within seconds, I've got some great looking text. Now I'm going to highlight the stuff I don't want. I'm going to click delete. And now I can just push that over here to the side. And I'm going to go into elements, and I'm going to type in border. And this is where you could use one of those square borders. So for example, you could do this one and you could make it gray or black, and I could push this right around to try new things because that one's square. I'm gonna turn back on my template and I can see it says support one another. So I'm gonna click off that. I'm actually gonna grab a shape. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm gonna to go to basic shapes and I'm gonna click this black square. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller, make it a rectangle, push it right down here in the middle. And again, I'm gonna make this centered. So I'm just gonna click the centered button. And now this is really cool. I'm going to click the text option. I'm going to click add headline, support one another. And then the key now is for the text color. I'm going to change this now to white and I can move this down now so that it sits on top of that shape. And then I'm going to change this text to be something a little more fancy. Now if the text is too big, not a problem. There's a text button right here where you can make it smaller. So I'm just going to make just hold down the down arrow key. You can see it changes it. So you just need to kind of change the size of it. You can also drag it around like this and make it larger, or larger or smaller as well. So I'm going to push that in. You can also scrunch it. You can adjust it really easily. And then here I'm going to click the text and the box. And then over here on the right, I'm going to click alignment. So it's aligned both vertically and horizontally. I'm going to make sure this box is actually centered on the design itself. I got a little off track there and I'm going to do the same thing here so we can see now this is nice and centered. So this is actually kind of fun. I'm going to finish this off now with one more piece of text over here and let's pick something off of the template. Laugh a lot, learn a lot. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click this vintage circular design. I really like this. Okay so now I'm going to just simply change the text in here. So I'm going to go up to the top where it says handcrafted and I'm gonna type in the word laugh, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say a lot, and then I'm just gonna get rid of the other pieces of text. So it's just gonna disappear, whoops. You can always click Control Z if you make a mistake there. I'm gonna click just the 10, just by double clicking it. Same thing here with the years, double click it. Now I'm gonna move this a lot up. So I'm gonna double click it, 
and then I'm going to be able to move this up. So you can really monkey around with the text, which is really neat. You can make it bigger. You can move things around. Simply by double-clicking it, it isolates it, and that means you can move it. Okay, and I'm going to put that right there. Okay, just like that, we've created a family rules poster. It's a pretty simple one. Obviously, you could make it a lot more complicated. But in this case with Kittle, I've created a family rules poster that I think can compete with anything else sitting on Amazon or Redbubble. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I'm going to put a link to Kittle in the video description below. I highly recommend you check it out. Kittle is awesome because it's got not only these great predefined tools, but there's just tons and tons of amazing templates as well. And it makes designing fun, which is what it should be. Thanks a lot for watching, and here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand world using Kittle.